All right, we're gonna start off with the flounder gig. There's tons of ways to make them. This is just how I made mine. Seems to work out pretty good, it's pretty strong. Caught a lot of pretty nice flounder with it so far. Haven't had a bend or anything like that. Cheap little gig you get from Academy. A little bit of a epoxy to make the twine stronger. You're gonna need some, some kind of twine. This is some really thin stuff. You can kind of use whatever size you want. Um, yeah, and you're gonna need a stick of some kind. I got a piece of bamboo because it's just what I had in the yard and bamboo is cooler than just like a regular wooden stick, I think. So that's what I'm gonna use. So you just take it, stick your gaff on there. Not your gaff, your gig. I just made a gaff too, so I'll show you that in a second. Stick it on there, take your drill, drill out through the hole. Pretty freaking easy. It comes with a little screw. Take that screw, put it on. See what I'm doing. Okay. That's enough. All right, so you got that on there tight. It's not going anywhere. You could probably just leave it like that. I know you could leave it like that. It's freaking strong. But I want it to look cool, so I'm going to wrap it in twine pretty easy take it like this start wherever you want to start i'm going to go from like here to the top of this thing just to make it look decent so you just take this come here put your line there like that and then you wrap it Pretty easy. Come right against it. You just gotta hold your finger there so it doesn't move around for the first couple spins. Try to hold it pretty tight. Um, make sure you got them all lined up nice. They should be going in line one after another. Okay, and then once you get it started, you just sit here and spin the thing. Keep them tight. So you guys can see. There you go. Now it's started. You got it all nice and tight. You just sit here and spin it. Keep them tight all the way down. Alright, the final part of this, how you tie it off. So you just take a little string that has a loop. That's all you need is a little loop there. Stick it in there. Alright, 
see this. Come on now. Being difficult. So you just stick it in there. Keep making your wraps. I like to make about five after I put that in to tie it off. So you got that one go over. Come on now. We'll stay still. All right, you just stick your loop in, wrap it over. You want to go over that thing about five times. So one, two. And it's kind of hard to do this in. Show you. Okay, so we'll just keep, you got two turns. I'm just gonna keep turning it. I guess you won't be able to see it. Who needs to see it anyways? Three. Four. Five. So. Once you go over five times, make sure that's all nice and tight. You just need to cut your string. Make sure you have something to cut your string. So you're not sitting here like me with a little piece of crap pocket knife trying to cut it. So you just take that. to get through this hole. Come on, you kid. Stick it through there. And pull this. So once you stick it through, you pull that tight. And you just pop that guy. Pull it tight. Clip that tag right there. We just got a little tag left. All right. Take your lighter. Burn that. And while it's hot, push down with your lighter. And then it'll just melt right on there like that. So now it's not going nowhere. All right. It's not like perfect because they got that freaking screw there. So it kind of. I don't know, kind of makes it look ugly. I don't like that, but it is what it is. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to take this epoxy. We're going to epoxy over this. That's going to make that nice and tight. It's not going to let anything get in that crack anyways. It'll be full of epoxy, so that's how you make the gaff.